Can I go from a penny whistle to playing a bagpipe practice chanter? That's what we're going to answer in this video. My name is Alec from Get Bagpipe Ready and we're going to go through the penny whistle and the practice chanter. Take a closer look at that. The answer is yes, you definitely can. I'm going to show how to do that in this video. And if you're struggling with uh, learning the practice chanter or if you're wanting to switch from the penny whistle to playing a practice chanter, just drop a comment below in this video. Great, so let's go over the penny whistle first. So, uh, you know, assuming you've, you've had a penny whistle or played a penny whistle and now you're wanting to get onto the practice chanter, or maybe a penny whistle is new to you. Uh, you know, it's very similar to the practice chanter, but there are a few key differences that we'll go through here. So, bottom hand with a practice chanter and penny whistle is your right hand. Top hand is a left hand, at least traditionally anyway. For the penny whistle, we only have three holes on the bottom. Our pinky finger does nothing. And uh, the top, we have three holes on the top. And again, our pinky finger does nothing on the penny whistle. And there's no hole on the back for our thumb for the penny whistle. Um, so differences with the practice chanter in terms of just number of holes. Our bagpipe practice chanter, it does have a hole for the bottom pinky finger. Again, that's our right hand. And there's a thumb hole on the back as well, similar to a recorder. Um, but the penny whistle doesn't have that hole. So that's difference number one, is the number of holes on the instrument. Difference number two, which is probably the most important difference, is how our fingers actually line up on those holes. So for the penny whistle, you'll see my fingers are kind of curled in, in almost a, a C or upside down U. Um, and it's the tip of my finger that goes on the hole for a penny whistle. Um, and for the practice chanter, my fingers are more flat. So there's no C or curl in my fingers. They're actually flat. And that's really important for the bagpipe chanter because those holes are spread out far enough. If you curl your fingers, you can't really reach the holes. And now even if you're not a, a bagpiper, you haven't tried a practice chanter, maybe you've played a bit on the, the low D penny whistle or seen people play on the bigger whistles. And you'll see again, those, those fingers have to be flat because the holes are too far apart. If you curl your fingers, you can't spread them out far enough to grab the holes. And that's probably the number one mistake I see with fingering with uh, people who want to play the practice chanter and are just struggling to find all the holes at the same time. Because you need all those holes covered um, in order to get that sound. Um, if, if the holes are only partially covered, you're going to get a lot of squawks and squeaks and that's, that's where, that's where uh, you know, it can be quite frustrating to learn. So I hope that's been helpful. I get another good question I get is, did I buy the right practice chanter? Whether it's I want to play the Highland pipes or the small pipes with the bellows or the real pipes. And the important thing is, is all the bagpipe chanters are pretty standard. Uh, in terms of their spacing with, with the fingering. Uh, so it really doesn't matter too much on what brand you get, in my opinion, especially if you're just starting out. The thing that matters is just starting. Uh, you know, just just do it, just do a little bit every day, rather than putting it off, putting it off, and never making a decision on which chanter to buy. Uh, so whether it's a, a chanter you blow into, like this one, or if it's maybe an electric chanter, those can be okay too. Um, the electric chanter is a little bit less forgiving on crossing noises, but it's it's going to make you into a, a good piper as well. Um, so the electric chanter is nice. You've got the earbuds that can that can go in, so you don't annoy as many people when you're practicing. But the air blowing chanter, you do get to start working on your your embouchure or your your facial muscles for blowing that hair. So those are all the different kinds of chanters, and and they're the same fingering as the the bagpipe chanter as well. If you have any questions, again with uh, different kinds of chanters or switching from the penny whistle to the to the bagpipe chanter let me know just drop me a comment below thanks